was also otherwise known as chicken food. What are you doing? got this volunteer tomato growing in our um, strawberry patch. We don't really want it there. So we're going to relocate it. I'll just dig quite deep around it so we don't disturb the roots too much. just repot it and keep it in the greenhouse for a little while and then when it's better I'll put it back outside in a better place. Here are the tomatoes that we relocated the other day. Just um, a little update for you. So they look quite perky now. They always go a bit floppy after you dig them up, but um, they recover really quickly as long as you make sure you get all of the roots out quite carefully. They should do really well when we replant them. Really unusual. So this is this is the aftermath of a fox attack this morning. We let them out and then heard massive commotion and came down and the fox was on top of Reggie. Reggie was fighting him. So he did his job well. He managed to chase the fox off. There's one chicken here that looks a little bit injured. Um, Reggie's lost a few feathers, I'm going to try and put them away again. I'm going to need to chase the fox away anyway. Reggie's lost quite a few feathers on one side here and he's got some broken feathers there from um, where he's fighting with the fox. Most of these, these white feathers here are all Reggie's. Pen's absolutely full of them. 
But he seems to be unhurt. Seems okay. And I can't see any marks on him. So he's pretty lucky. These chickens are completely unhurt. Yeah. This chicken's just hidden herself away under here. Doesn't want to come out. She um she was the only one that was grabbed by the fox. I don't think she's badly hurt, but I think she's pretty traumatized. So she didn't seem to have too much damage. She had one wing that looked like it may have been damaged, possibly. Um, but I think she's just a bit shocked. So hopefully she's gonna pick up over the next couple of days. We'll have to see how she goes.